Dotson Arms Co. 375 H and H Magnum versus concrete. What we wanted to do was test some of these medium and large bore rifles to see if it gives us any gain on concrete penetration and reduction of concrete targets. We're going to use these Hornady 375 H and H 300 grain DGS solids. The 375 Magnum has recoil that is similar to the two and three quarter inch buckshot round in 12 gauge. That gives you kind of a comparison of what this gun kicks like. We're going to do single shots and since this gun holds three rounds, we'll do a three round composite to see what kind of additional penetration that gives us. This is a Whitworth Express rifle. It has the safari sights on it, 100 meters, 200 meters, and 300 meters. I really like that feature because in the field you can have elevation already set if you sighted a gun in all the way out to 300 meters if you're going to use this as an anti-material weapon. What we want to do is see if adding this to your battery would be a viable choice based on barrier penetration needs that you may have. Since this is a civilian hunting weapon, it is available worldwide. We'll zoom in here so you can get a look. What you'll notice is it penetrated and broke the first block and it stopped part way in the second block so we got about two inches of concrete penetration. We'll pull the front block out so you can take a look at the second block. We'll zoom in and give you a look. With this shot, we penetrated the first slab of concrete we penetrated most of the second slab and cracked a third. The next round is we'll fire three rounds and see what kind of gross penetration we get. With three rounds fired in succession, we managed to penetrate 3.4 inches of concrete. It did not break the block behind it though, and we did recover one bullet. As you can see here, this is the solid we recovered. Now that you've seen single shots in a three shot composite, what we would figure is this would actually be a pretty good weapon for breaking down concrete using the 300 grain solids. In the future, we'll fire some soft point ammunition too to see how that impacts the concrete, see if that's viable also, or whether you just need to stick to the 300 grain solids. Now with this gun, if you want to penetrate four or five inches of concrete, you're probably gonna to have to fire 10 to 15 rounds to do it, but it does give you the capacity to do that. One thing to keep in mind is because of the recoil of this gun, this is not something you want to shoot from prone position. In the future, we'll shoot this against the block wall and the hardened block wall to see what kind of performance we get on that. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you on the next episode.